camera two, camera three. Here it is. Here we go. What's up guys, welcome back to Unbox Junkie. My name is Matt and today we're looking at something a little different. This is gonna be something geared more toward like creators or photographers um, or even uh, store owners uh, for display purposes. So today we're looking at the 360 degree electric rotating turntable by, I think I'm pronouncing this right, Yon J? Yon J? I don't know. I purchased this myself because I thought, hey, I would like to, you know, have something like this to display some products in my videos. I think it'd be a cool addition to have when I'm making like a little B-roll footage or something. And, uh, and I went on Amazon and I found this. I thought about getting one of these like a long time ago and I put it off, I don't know why, but I finally did it. I finally got one. Now, this is actually four and a half star rated on Amazon right now, and it's only 50 bucks, which is pretty good because it says that it has a 50 pound capacity, and we're gonna test that. I actually got some weights over here. It does have a couple little features on it that make it a little unique. I don't know if it's unique to all the others that are out there that are available. All right, so we got we got about a six foot long power cable. Pretty basic stuff. The turntable itself, I think it comes in multiple colors. I'm not 100% sure. If you're interested, check out the Amazon store page that's linked down in the description box below. Now, pretty basic, the whole top turns 360 degrees. Now it does one full rotation in 50 seconds. I don't think that there is a speed. Now it's just one speed. It does have these rubber feet on it so it won't slide around or anything. Now this, uh, from what I gathered, this is some sort of a sensor. Now what it says, and I'm quoting it, it says it shuts down automatically by itself if there's electrical leakage or an overload. So I'm assuming that if you exceed 50 pounds, it'll detect it and it'll shut it off to uh, increase the longevity of the motor. You don't want to overwork it. So that's a really cool little feature. I like that. So on the side, you've got your power input and a basic switch. And that's it. That's the whole thing. Oh, it's already on. Can you hear it? It's really quiet. I'm not sure if you guys can hear it. It's, it's got a very low hum to it. Um, here, let me try my phone so you guys can see a visual. There we go. So now we got a nice little, nice little turntable. Now again, I got this for purposes of the channel, so you guys should be seeing this more on the channel. Um, but uh, yeah, pretty basic, very, very simple turntable. Here. So the reason I got it, again, was for product purposes, but set it on there, bam. It works just like I thought it would actually. There's zero surprises here. <laughs> All right, let's test. Let's test the load on it. Oh, all right. All right, I got a few a few pounds here. These are each 10 pounds. There we go, and then two five pounders. These are old weights too. 10 pounds is doing fine. The motor, I can hear it a little bit more. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Okay, oh, wait a minute. Hey, hey, I just learned something new. If you turn it off, turn it back on, it goes in the other direction. Huh, cool. Very nice, so it does go counterclockwise. I like that, all right. All right, let's try 20. I don't wanna break it. Okay. 20 pounds is good. Let's try 30. Still working? 50 pounds. Now this is supposedly, or sorry, this is 40 pounds. I am totally not doing math right. All right, so we're up to 40 pounds. Still working. You can tell that the motor's working a little bit harder. It's still trucking along. All right, let's step it up to five more pounds. Let's do 45. Still working. All right. All right, so this is the max load. We got 50 pounds on here. Still going. All right, I got 10 extra pounds. This time I'm just gonna leave it running. Let's see what happens. Okay, 55 pounds, still hasn't shut off. 60 pounds. Okay, Okay. wait a minute, I gotta go get more weights. All right, this is all I got left. This is an old weight set. 
Okay, so we got 40, 50, 60 pounds. All right, I've got 10 more pounds available. These are in two point, these are two and a half increments or 2.5 pounds. Okay, 62 and a half. 65. 67 and a half. 70 pounds. Okay, well, it clearly exceeds the 50 pound marker. We've got 70 pounds on here and it's still, yeah, still working just fine. It doesn't sound worse than it did when I, uh, since like 20 pounds. Let me just push. <clears throat> yeah, it's still going. That little sensor on the bottom though, that, now there is no instructions. Yeah, there's no instructions that came with it, but there you go. So 70 pounds, that works. Still works just fine. Now my hands are nasty, but uh, but there you go. Yeah, not bad. I'm happy with the purchase. I think it was worth 50 bucks for sure. Uh, it holds 20 pounds more than it's advertised for. I wouldn't suggest it because they advertise it for 50 pounds probably for a reason. I'm a little disappointed that it didn't do like an auto shut off or anything. It didn't, uh, and there's no instructions that explains how that works. Um, but if you have products that you wanna display or you're a creator like myself and you wanna display products on camera or you're a photographer, um, yeah, this thing's great. It works pretty well. I mean, 70 pounds, that's pretty impressive and it could probably do more. I mean, I pushed down on the 70 pounds and it kept going, so. Uh, I'm not sure what the full limit is. I don't have enough weights really with me. But uh, yeah, there we go. Not bad. I like it. I'm definitely going to be using it. Bam. There you go. All right, guys. Well, that is it. I'm going to leave links down in the description below as usual. I leave it in your hands. But as for now, get out of here.